My name is Dr. A. Swakumar, so Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, Ratnam College of Arts and Science. So today we will discuss about the topic, so entrepreneur development and its importance. Okay, so this is some video reference video links. So we, for example, our related entrepreneur, what is meant by entrepreneur development? So on the entrepreneurship. So that things we will uh, discuss in this video. So this is today our topic outcome. So students should be able to learn so um, basic concept of entrepreneur development process and some activities in our business. So the next, so these are the difference between entrepreneur and the entrepreneurship and the enterprise. So entrepreneur is nothing but so he the entrepreneur is a one person. So and the entrepreneurship it is one of the process. Then enterprise is one of the organization outcome. So then entrepreneurs is entrepreneurship. So entrepreneur is a, one of the person. So who uh, create new business with new ideas. So that person is called entrepreneur. And the entrepreneurship is means so it is a one of the process of so we have to creating the business and we have to implement some other activities or some other new features in our business so these are some definitions so next entrepreneurship development so just entrepreneurship development is nothing but it is one of the process for enhancing the skill set of business and some other activities and also we have to improve the management related activities and organization related things so that things all the process we have to um, done in this uh, process of called entrepreneurship development. So next, so these are the some key points just innovations. So innovation is nothing but so we have to create the new ideas uh, that for that new ideas we have to um, for uh, for example of starting startup business. Okay, so, so we have to create some startup business. So that is called the innovation. So next knowledge. Okay, so we have a specific set of knowledge that is skill set so it is required for we have to create so some business so then also business then teamwork so teamwork is very very important then also leadership so leadership how to lead the business and how to organizing the business in successful way so then also risk tolerance once the any risk is occur in business so we have to tolerate that uh, risk so then next assertiveness so how to we improve our business in successful way so next, so some of the importance of entrepreneurs, so in first uh, free market, okay. So in marketing, so we have to, uh, once we have to develop any product or any uh, project, so we have to successfully marketing, so that is called a free market and also efficiency. So efficiency means, uh, for example, all the products, so we have to learn in successful way. So then um, new products. In for example, so we have to start on companies in existing company. So we have periodical wise we have to create new products, and also economy and also new values. So new values means uh, new new futures and uh, um, product related all the new pro futures we have to add. So the next the types of entrepreneurship. So we have several types of entrepreneurs available. So that is first uh, small business entrepreneurship. Small business means so we have to spend just uh, we have to for example small shop or small stationery shop. So this is called small business entrepreneurs and investor entrepreneurs means for example so once uh, the person have some ideas some other uh, several companies they have to invest uh, money for that uh, ideas. So that is called uh, investor entrepreneurs, then technology entrepreneurs. So new new technology we have to develop in business. So that is called technology entrepreneurs and internal entrepreneurs and online entrepreneurs. So online entrepreneurs means that is for example of Flipkart, then Amazon, so several entrepreneurs available. So then next, so entrepreneurs skills. So we once we have to entrepreneurs so that is uh, we have several skill skill set and also several knowledge is required so that is first one very very important that is leadership okay leadership is very one of the skills then interpersonal communication that means for example we have to in employees so the communication is very very important then also organizational behavior so how to the business uh, behaviors we will know and also business strategy so how to sell the product and how to um, handle with the employees all the business strategies we have to learn and also collaboration and project management so we have to collaborate some other tie up with some other companies so that is collaboration is very very important so then next the some of the qualities of entrepreneurs so first one is self confidence so any entrepreneurs they have to start any business the self confidence is very very important 
and also passionate and focused so they have to focus to any problem or any um, things so they have to boldly focus focused and also the risk taking ability so once any risk is occurred so they have to handle the risk in very easiest manner and also leadership ability then future oriented so we have to develop any business that business are maximum it is maximum future oriented so uh, that skills are we that skills and futures we have to discussed and creative creativity is, um, is very one of the important so uh, quality so that is for example in our business we have to new products we have to created so benefits so that is uh, we have to four ways entrepreneurs benefit in society so that is economic growth so it is uh, wealth generation and social change and community development community development means for example so similar organizations we have to um, group and we have to discuss uh, for developing our business then social change okay social change means for example every generations we have to based on that generation gap so we have to develop that product and also wealth generation wealth and economic also the income and uh, expenses of our uh, organization so it is maximum based on our income oriented benefits so these are the some benefits for entrepreneurs so thank you so before taking so we have to summarize so today we will discuss about the topics so that is uh, for example so a difference between entrepreneurs and entrepreneurship and enterprise so then after the, some of the qualities and uh, skill set what are the skill set knowledge is required for um, we, we have to change the entrepreneur and also some of the qualities so the basic qualities needed for entrepreneurs so thank you